Hello, I'm Martin Ellis. I'm a headhunter and today I'm going to help you find ways to choose a headhunter, at least from an employer's perspective, should you need one. Let me say before I go any further, I've got two views on this. One is as a headhunter as I have been for the last seven years. And the second is as someone who used to use headhunters in a previous life to help me find senior executives all over the world. So I might be quite unusual in that perspective and having those two viewpoints. I think there are six questions to ask and I'm simply going to go through those in order. My first one would be how long does a search take? Now I think that no search in any circumstances needs to take any longer than six weeks, normally five. That's measured from the point at which you appoint the headhunter to the point at which you're interviewing uh, candidates. And that includes about a week's notice period to make sure that the candidates can all get to meet you on the same day. The second question I'd ask is, do you use LinkedIn to find candidates? And if the headhunter says, no, I don't, there are only two reasons for that. One is they don't know how to use the technology. And the second is they're not telling you the truth. Now, it's absolutely true that any idiot can find someone on LinkedIn. But the skill comes not in finding them, but engaging them, gaining their interest, bringing them in and motivating them in a process that they want to be part of. And that takes real skill and the ability to talk the candidate's language. Thirdly, I'd ask, do you guarantee your work? To be fair, most headhunters, I think, do guarantee their work to some extent. For example, I will guarantee three months as standard practice and depending on my understanding of the search, will quite commonly extend that to six months. And I'm not sure how often headhunters would make that commitment to six months, but I feel quite confident that once I've got someone in, that if I've done the matching right, they'll stay for a lot longer than six months. Hence my ability to negotiate to that point. Fourth question I'd ask is, how will I know if you, Mr. or Miss Headhunter, are on target? Again, I'm unusual in that at the opening point of an assignment, I will agree an interview date five or six weeks forward, a specific interview date, and will cast that in stone in my and my client's diary and will report against that date as I go through the search. I do know I'm absolutely unusual in doing that, but I don't find any reason why that's not possible. And if someone won't give you an interview date, I wonder if they're cutting themselves some slack and some extra time just in case. The fifth question is, what happens if I don't like your shortlist? That's a good question, and there's certainly no compulsion on anyone to choose someone just because they're on a headhunter's shortlist. On my shortlist, there's certainly no compulsion. But I think the telling point is what happens when you're first talking about the assignment, and does the headhunter ask enough good probing questions to make sure that they understand exactly what you want now and not necessarily what you needed six years ago when they last filled the job and they understand that in terms of what skills you want, what experience you want, what network you're looking for and what their personal behavioural preferences and motivations might be. And if they ask enough good, dumb questions at the outset, you can be reasonably sure that they're going to meet your objectives at the end of the day. Now, my sixth question is possibly the most challenging one, which is how much? 
And the answer, quite bluntly, to that is how long is a piece of string? I would only say that I work on a fixed fee basis, whereas most headhunters work on a percentage of either earnings or total package. And that means that the fee can go up or down as the salary moves up and down. And I simply think that a fixed fee is something where you understand exactly what you're going to spend from the outset. And that the cost to me as a service provider aren't going to change depending on how much salary you pay. So I think a fixed fee from my perspective is more straightforward. And I do know there are one or two others who work that way. But be clear right at the outset exactly what's included in the fee and what's not included and that there are no hidden extras, especially if someone is going to advertise the role in the national press or similar. OK, so I'm just going to go through those six questions again very quickly. Ask, number one, how long will it take? Number two, do you use LinkedIn to find candidates? Number three, do you guarantee your work? Number four, how will I know if you're on target? Number five, what happens if I don't like your short list? And number six, how much? Now all the answers to those questions are quite straightforward, but all things that work tend to be straightforward. I have lots more tips, advice and help, particularly on how to appoint a headhunter on my website and on my blog. Please feel free to go there anytime and dig around to find what you want or contact me directly if it's not there. Otherwise, thank you very much for listening and good luck. Bye-bye.